Emmy Lou has just published her first cookbook. It's fantastic. It's called Confidence in the Kitchen, and we're going to be cooking one of the recipes from it. A popular one? A very popular one. Your kids will love it. <laughs> your next door neighbours will love it. Everybody will love this recipe. Fantastic. Yeah. So it's beef and apple rissoles, yep. and it's that simple. You are just going to pop in some grated onion, yep. grated carrot. I'm going to grate an apple. I love this. And I think there's a lot of mums and dads out there that are going to love this too because it's hiding the vegetables it's and like, fruit yes, in the meat. Exactly. And there's nothing better than using, like, I know this is awful, an old carrot that's been sitting down <laughs> on the bottom of the veggie box or an apple um, that is slowly starting to get soft. This is perfect for yeah. that, using up those veggies. That That is, it's not a bad thing to say at all. In fact, I want you to tell people that because yeah. there's so much wastage out there. Don't waste it, grate it, hide it. You're getting your nutrients in there and also it's giving this meat extra flavour. Oh, 100% and the apple it goes so well with the beef. You'll yes. actually so love this so much. Yeah, that's so interesting. I've, I've actually never tried this. That's, that's why when I was looking through your book, I'm like, ooh, apple rissoles. Why not? Yeah. Apple and beef rissoles. It's almost like you're giving it a bit of a you know, applesauce flavour there. Exactly. And it's it's weird. You don't taste it as such, but it does give it a sweetness and yep. a bit of a juiciness as mm, well. Very so nice. I'm going to add in the grated apple. We'll get and all that juice as well. Don't be afraid of yep. that. I love how you're navigating around these incredible nails. Everybody, have a look at these nails. Emmy oh, hang on. Let me, get them, get, let me get them show ready. And then look at mine. <laughs> well, I've got to do something about this, don't I? But someone... Uh, I clearly don't take my cooking very seriously, do I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, in my defence, though, they're for an event. That's not normal. Don't judge me. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm judging myself for not having nice nails. <laughs> so one egg to bind all this together? Yes, that's all you need. Okay. okay. I am going to add some salt and pepper to that at the Great. same time. Yep. And a nice little hint of salt here because mm. you do have that sweetness of the apple. So yep. you want a nice little um, pinch of it and yep. then some pepper. Mm -hmm. And shall I get my hands in there? Yeah, okay. if you want to. And then I'm going to show you a little trick on how to uh, just kind of almost uh, bind it even just that little bit more. Okay. So, you know, you can use starches, flours, you can even add a breadcrumb to that mix. With this yep. one, you don't need to. Okay. You've got that one egg to bind it. Yep. And once we get it all together, yep. I'm going to show you a little, a little mm. something. It'll take the frustration out of your day, but it'll also help make the most juiciest, firmest results. Okay, well, there you go. All right, yep. so we've got our mixture. It's all mixed. We're going to yep. scoop up a little bit, right. depending on how you want it. Yep. And then we're going to form it into a shape. Mm -hmm. And then we're actually going to slam it against the bowl, OK? All so right. I'm going to go here, slam it, Ooh. pick it up. Slam it, pick yep. it up. And all that is doing is knocking out that excess air yep. uh, out of the rissole. It's going to give you a firmer, juicier rissole. Yep. And then shape it again. And then you're going to oh, roll it beautiful. into your breadcrumb. It's a great idea, particularly with all those vegetables and, and fruit in there. It mm. can sort of loosen up. So by just doing that, yeah. you're working it and making it quite sticky. What a exactly. great idea. So then we're just going to crumb them. We've got some fresh breadcrumbs here, but you can just use whatever you've got in your pantry. Yeah, I have some old ones sitting in a <laughs> container somewhere. Use them up. <laughs> use them up. They'll probably fry even better. But again, <laughs> if you do have stale bread, I have done that as well, and yep. just thrown it in the blender. Stale bread, even toast up your bread, yep. throw it in the blender. Yep. Great little tips, Emmy Lou. So let's make a few more of these, and we're going to fry them just in some vegetable oil, some olive oil, until they're golden. Perfect. <sighs> Look forward to these. These look delightful. Oh, they look so golden and crispy and they smell beautiful as yes. well. And they're cooked all the way through. I love how you've just flattened them down. They look like that true rissole that we all know so well. An Aussie rissole. <laughs> Aussie rissoles. <laughs> it's on the menu in a lot of families, so we need to show different ways of doing it and the addition of that apple, such a great idea. And you know what? They are beautiful cold. <gasps> Yes. Gorgeous in a lunchbox. Oh, why not? Yeah. Oh, I can picture this in a nice soft bread roll, a bit of tomato sauce maybe. <laughs> Ooh, delicious buttered bread. Yes, a lot of lashings of butter. Lashings. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'll put two on here. Mm -hmm. One for you, one for me. Oh, yeah. Ooh. 
that. That is beautiful. This is a good portioning here. This is actually quite a healthy dish here. Big salad, a few little rissoles. Just easy. Yeah. Easy and delicious mm. and really budget friendly as well. And that's very important. Totally. Shall we have a taste? Yes. Okay. One Thank for you. you. One for me. All right, let's cut into this. Are we sharing the same recipe? Oh, <laughs> why not? <laughs> I just want that crispy edge bit right there. Mm. That is so good. Mm. I love that apple. I'm going to do that with my rissoles now. Oh, yeah. Your baby boy will love this. He's going to love that. That's on the menu tonight. I'm going to put a little bit of lemon on there. Oh, so even better. Still like the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> I'm the gift that keeps on eating, that's yeah. for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Delightful.